wherever you are along our Misery Television Network, we bid you welcome from the fourth annual Holiday Bowl, San Diego, California's Jack Murphy Stadium, and here it is. Good kick by Morris. This is Hanson at the two. Ten. Good coverage. Excellent coverage by Washington State. And Jim McMahon and company will take over from the BYU 15-yard line. You third down 10, BYU 26-yard line. Wide receivers set out either side. Split backs. Good protection. Not a first down. Gain of about four. BYU forced into a punting situation. For Bob Crable, 907-203-5-3-2. Mike Mark Mees. Allen, 907-203-5-3-3. Herschel Walker, 907-203-5-3-1. Third and seven. 42-yard line of Washington State. Two wide receivers. One to either side. Casper. He has a man deep. He rolls the closest man to it. The fullback is Hamilton. The tailback is Pettis behind McMahon. This is Pettis. Oh, left-handed thrower. And he has his... That looked like his big tight end, Gordon Hudson. So with two quarterbacks in the game, BYU comes up with a first down at the Washington State 35-yard line. To the end zone. Touchdown! Dan Plater... The senior out of Reno, Nevada, and McMahon with his first deep pass completion of the game, and BYU is on the board. Here they are now with a first down at the BYU 35-yard line. Less than two minutes to play in the first quarter. Mitchell and Jones are now the wide receivers. Jones to the left. Mitchell is off to the right. This is Mitchell now in motion. Casper. Interception. Mike O'Neill. Brigham Young University leading by a score of seven to nothing. BYU now moving from right to left has a third down and five at the Washington State 37 yard line. Wide receiver out to the right. Pettis was in motion, the tailback. McMahon. Oh, he hits his big tight end. Hudson. Beautifully executed. Pettis and Hamilton are the running backs. Ball home was in motion. Pettis. What a beautiful bit of scrambling. And Pettis, ever so alert, working his way clear. And the result is a gain down to the seven-yard line. Of Absolutely great athletic play by the quarterback. Third and six. Touchdown. Beautifully thrown. There he is, the tight end, the young man that you like, Lee Corso, oh, Gordon Hudson. Washington State trailing 14 to nothing. Has a great scoring opportunity oh, at the BYU 24-yard line. Ricky Turner is the quarterback. Oh, beautiful fake and a keeper for a first down at the 13-yard line. Second down, eight at the 11-yard line of BYU as we have a close-up look at Ricky Turner. There he comes. Close for first down around the three-yard line. The only wide receiver. The bomb. No. Keeper. A great fake by the bomb. A keeper by Turner. Washington State is on the board. And Ricky Turner has moved Washington State right back into this football game. On first down, McMahon. And there's the ever-present Pettis. Another first down. Third and 11 at the Brigham Young 42, midway second quarter. That's Hamilton in motion, the fullback. There's a completion. Wide receiver, Neil Balhorn, Washington State 42 yard line. Here he comes firing again. A tremendous, tremendous catch by Scott Colley. And I'll tell you something, that was good defense. He had a bad right with it. There's no question about it. Third and goal. BYU leading 14 to 7. Just inside the five yard land. And BYU adds to 
of six. Wide open. Chris Kozlowski down to the 24-yard line. Glenn of Washington State. Valheim is in motion. Lahat is the fullback. Hamilton. Lahat. He went out of bounds. Sikahima and Hamilton are the running back. more out of Calipatria. And that's the end of the first half. The fourth annual Holiday Bowl. The score, Brigham Young 24, Washington State 7. In mentioning Jim McMahon's statistics in the first half, I received a note here before the game started that, that as of right now, Jim McMahon is listed as a leading candidate for the Davy O'Brien Award, named after that one-time great passer from TCU, by the Fort Worth Club to the nation's outstanding quarterback. And uh, a little bit more about it later, but as of right now, he's a leading candidate. All right. Cleet Casper is the quarterback. Good run by his tailback. Could be a first down. Williams. Mike Smith along the sidelines. How's the voting coming for our MVP? Ray, Jim McMahon has taken charge in this ballgame. He is also dominating the vote tally with about 36,000 votes compared to 29,000 for Herschel Walker. Heisman Trophy winner Marcus Allen way behind 11,000 votes. And Rob Grable, Bob Grable, Notre Dame, about 4,000 votes. There you see the phone numbers. Keep those phones ringing. Yeah, first down play as Casper fires. Uh oh. Uh oh. This could be a touchdown. Number 46 is BYU just like that. Jim McMahon warming up along the sidelines. Casper has two wide receivers to the left. Escalera and Keller. Escalera in motion. Pass it off, Ray! This is the bomb. Almost. All right, Cleek Casper under center on second and ten from the Washington State 47. Right there. Right there. His big tight end inside the 30, Pat Feet, senior out of Pullman. And now Washington State has something going. First down play for Washington State. That's Mitchell, number two, you saw there. Right there. Oh, there's LeBon. Right there. Touchdown. Don LeBon. In the fullback. Scott Pettis, the tailback. Plater wide to the right. Amazing. 254 yards against a team that has given up an average of 123 this season. He's back firing. Oh, he's going to be running. Four yards out to the 24. Remember now, he's playing with a heavily protected knee because he had to miss two games during the regular season. So second and six. And there's a loss, and a flag is down at 45. 46 of Washington State, dribble, good speed, but oh, what coverage by that special team of BYU. Sorensen, who almost blocked it, this is Ricky Turner, new quarterback, big gainer, he's all the way down to the BYU 34-yard line, and you're right, momentum is definitely turning here. He's a competitor. Oh, beautiful. Fake to the bomb. Robert Williams has a touchdown, and friends, we have a football game. Now here's a big third and five for BYU. They have Pettis over there in the slot left. Pressure. Down goes McMahon inside the five. For Washington State. Second and ten. Brigham Young, 39-yard line.
seconds left, third quarter. Watch it, here he goes. Here's that big man again. He came right back to Hudson to see him in the regular season. That was the final play of the third quarter. Pressure. Pettis. Touchdown. Scott Pettis. And McMahon has really shown. Jim McMahon, as we look at some of those statistics, in this game has completed 28 of 38 passes, 335 yards, three touchdowns. Now it's BYU at its own three-yard line. This is Pettis trying to get outside. Practically nothing. Yard line. And now a third and about 13. Sikahima in motion. Big play. This is misfiring over Plater. Oh, there's a fine play. Good hang time. Dribble at his own 46. Gets it back to about the 49. Second down, seven. This is Casper now. They switch quarterbacks. He has his man there. Keller inside the 25. is back at quarterback. They switch quarterbacks after one play. Here's a draw play. Down to the 15-yard line goes Tim Harris. Boy, he's a tough kitty. Touchdown. Mike Martin, the touchdown maker. All right, going for the two-point conversion. Man in motion. Turner still has it. He's in. An option. 36, 5 minutes and 12 seconds left to play. Now. Okay, on the most valuable player vote, the winner is Jim McMahon, BYU. He has a 7,000 vote lead over Herschel Walker, Marcus Allen, and Bob Grable out of the line. Thank you, Mike. All right, our most valuable player by vote, Jim McMahon. Third and less than a yard for a first down just beyond the Brigham Young 29-yard line. Fullback is Hamilton. Fumble. And McMahon. Was he down? There is a tremendous break and great alertness by McMahon. That could have been right there the opportunity that Washington State needed and wanted. Instead, McMahon. This is Hamilton. Big run. Oh, what a big play. Most valuable offensive player, Jim McMahon. And there is Jim McMahon. Holder of 56 NC2A passing records. And he hasn't done anything tonight to take away from his glitter. The final seconds are ticking away. Washington State unable to do anything about it. They have used all of their timeouts in a valiant effort. It looks like I'm going to have to bring Indiana back here. <laughs> okay, We're the last seconds. team to beat them. The roar of the cannon, the roar of the crowd. And Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego tells us that this game is history. Lavelle Edwards and Jim Walden embracing out of the center of the field. Their two teams have played so very hard in a holiday bowl that I'm sure will be long remembered by all here in person and hopefully by those of you who watch it along.